Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing, swatching, and doing a tutorial with the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie palette that just released. So, a few disclaimers. Um, I've been doing yard work, so if I look like I have like dirt all over me, it is stain. Um, so, and my hands are like that. I look disgusting. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, another thing is I know whenever I do reviews and I, if I have a bad review on a product, people really come for me in the comments. Just keep in mind that I'm trying to give you guys my honest opinion. I don't, I have no idea. I haven't even opened it and looked at it, but I'm just saying that right now because I don't need the negative comments. Um, but anyways, if you guys want to see what I think about it, we know what all the other beauty guru people think about it. Um, but just a regular person, if you want to know, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the palette retails for, I want to say, uh, 44 US dollars. However, I live in Canada and I live in a very remote area. So I just did the math and um, I paid 58 US dollars. And then once it came to um, cross the border, I had to pay another $23. So in total for this palette, I paid $98.12. That's kind of crazy, but um, that's not Laura Lee's fault. Um, that's just the way it goes. And Pretty much any time I order any makeup from the States, um, I always have to pay duties. So that's just how it goes. Rough life I have. Um, um, when I saw Laura Lee's first palette came out, Cat's Pajamas, it did not speak to me. Um, I didn't like anything about it. But what I will say is I love that Laura Lee stayed true to herself. Um, she's definitely like different and out there. Um, and that's what got her to where she is and she hasn't conformed and tried to be fake. Um, I feel like if you look at most people in the beauty community that get to her level of fame or status or whatever you want to call it, I feel like they all kind of look the same, they talk the same, they're all, you know, the same kind. I really like that Laura Lee was Laura Lee about her first uh, palette, Cat's Pajamas. So. Um, I also really like that she stayed true to herself the second time around. This is her second palette. It is 100% Laura Lee, but it is, I feel like she listened to all the critiques and stuff. And I don't think she conformed, you know, to push sales and stuff like that. I think that she listened to what people had to say and what they were looking for and integrated that with who she is. So, um, love this. And I haven't looked at it. I'm going to open it up right now. But the packaging, it's it's really big. Um, it feels like heavy and like luxurious. To me, this looks like something like, this is what I would think Kim Kardashian would put out. But Kim Kardashian's quality does not look as good as this so far. Ooh, it has a huge mirror. Wow. So then 12, 12 colors. So it looks like this. And like I said, I'm sure you guys have already seen a bunch of reviews on this, but I do think it is nice to get an unbiased review from somebody that is just, you know, a regular person. I am going to do a little um, eye look and then play with as many of the colors as I can to give you guys an overall opinion on what I think. And then I will do some swatches and then, yeah. So um, I am going to speed up part of the eye um, makeup look. But I do want to say a couple of things. Let's start off with undressed. But anyways, um, this is like a really good mirror. Really, good. actually, that's so funny. I guess I could just use this one. <laughs> I'm like looking in a different mirror. Okay, I gotta think of what I'm gonna do here. I have no idea. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play with a bunch of the colors. So next, I'm gonna go in with bare because I think it's really pretty. Um, I really like that. I mean, obviously for Nudie Patootie, she did a bunch of nudes. And I, I love, love Laura Lee that she has the color names on the front. Underneath the color, thank you, girl. Um, I feel like, I know that sounds so silly, but I feel like you can almost tell like a YouTuber put this out because, I mean... Something that everybody hates is the shitty mirrors. Something that everybody hates is shitty packaging. Everybody gets annoyed. Like, I mean, when you're doing a tutorial or whatever, um, 
to have to, you know, turn around, look at the back. I, it's fucking bullshit. Honestly, I'm like shocked how good these are blending right now. I'm gonna like zoom in a little bit, but not too close, cause, you know. Um, oh, if you can hear snoring in the background, it's just my dogs. Sorry about that. Um, what else do I have to say about Laura Lee? Oh, another thing is when she put out her cat's pajamas, I did watch her video um, where she was first like talking about it and stuff and how she was like getting really emotional about it. You could tell that she definitely like, you know, put her heart and soul into it and her own money. I absolutely love, even though the palette was crazy for a Canadian girl like me in a rural remote area to purchase it for $98, I absolutely don't mind supporting somebody who has followed their dreams and literally, you know, um, just kicked ass and made it all happen. Dog is sleeping and she's running in her sleep. Oh, another thing, because I made a few notes about um, when I was getting this red lipstick on. It took me fucking six hours. But anyways, um, I was, you know, thinking of just, you know, th thoughts and feelings and stuff like that. I'm going into butt naked now. Um, something that I really like is, I, I don't like to say people's names. I, I really don't care, but I mean, one day I'm going to want PR. Um, just kidding. But like somebody like Kylie Jenner, when, um, you know, she puts out a product, like as a consumer, there's nothing worse than, you know, setting your alarm and, you know, waiting, uh, refreshing your phone till it like, you know, hits three o'clock on the dot and then realizing that they sold out in 36 seconds. Like I like that Laura Lee isn't trying to do that shit. I hate when people pull that shit. Yeah, this. So how, you know, the backlash that came um, from Kylie's amazing makeup brushes that she came out with. Oops. Um, and she said, you know, I try my best. Um, you know, I, I fight so hard to keep the price down for you guys or whatever. Like, that's a bunch of bullshit. But anyways, um, Laura Lee isn't trying to sell, I feel like, you know, her name. Because she is a name now, you know what I mean? I'm going in now with, ooh, I like that one. Some Stark. I'm just digging this palette already. You can see Nakey Nakey, I like that one. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Nakey Nakey. <laughs> Such like Laura Lee names. Okay, so the last color I'm gonna use after Nakey Nakey is called Buff, and it looks like there. This is Nakey Nakey, that's Buff. So I'm just going to put some of my own. I'm really trying to not use Jaybird because. We all know that's the color that everybody's gonna wanna do. But, fuck it, I'm going for it. Actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna do O Nat. Fuck. I'm gonna do O Naturel. I'm gonna use my finger. It's a gold shade. Okay, guys, so here is my final look. Um, I used quite a few of the shades. I'm going to really quickly do the swatches because this video is going to be so long. So I'm starting with Stark, Undressed, and Topless. So right there. And then Streaking, Uncover, and Strip. It's like a... I wouldn't say mustardy. I don't know. It's like a camel mustard color. I don't know if that even makes sense. And then bare, exposed, and au naturel. And then reveal, jaybird, which is so pretty, and butt naked. So pretty. And then buff. And Nakey Nakey. Okay, so super quick, my final thoughts. I feel like this is a complete palette, which is a big deal to me. I feel like 
I can't say it's a good deal because of how much I had to pay, but for honestly, I'm glad I bought it. Um, I would purchase it, not again, but if I had the chance to do it over, I would definitely purchase it. Um, I think, big props to Laura Lee, I think she nailed it with this. Um, I feel like this is one of the best launches in quite a while. Um, so super proud of her. Hope she keeps doing her thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial review swatches. If you did, please give it a like. I do lots of reviews. I have some really exciting things coming right away. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to, you know, hang out with me more often. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all.